So ladies and gentlemen, in the previous podcast we did Herschel Walker. We talked about his great time in the NCAA, also his great time in the USFL. But this uh, third part, and I, we talk about it a lot more in a previous podcast I did about the trade. Herschel Walker had uh, been drafted by the Dallas Cowboys and went to USFL, had fully ended up with Dallas. Now he was all-purpose back. He was playing multiple positions, backing up Tony Dorsett, but it didn't work out. Not for Walker, but for Dorsett. Eventually led him to leave uh, for Dallas. Now, Montreal, Montreal, not Montreal, Dallas was winning as a team under Tom Landry, and eventually, when the team was bought by Jerry Jones, all the good effort that Walker, uh, and Walker was a one-man team for Dallas quite some time, it led to be eventually traded to the Minnesota Vikings and the, bra- the big trade robbery. How it worked out, uh, Dallas had uh, taken five nondescript players and I think five or six draft picks for Minnesota. For Walker, eventually, those if those uh, those trade pieces weren't kept to be extra draft pieces and it led to uh, Emmett Smith, uh, Darren Woods and Russell Merrill, Maryland and everybody. But ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand Minnesota was desperate at the time. They needed somebody like Herschel Walker to come in. Now the numbers he put up with Dallas were extremely consistent uh, with kick returning, uh, running, uh, receiving. Now Dallas had been a playoff contender before he arrived but for some reason uh, Tom Landry felt that everybody involved uh, with the team should uh, should have um, uh, Walker uh, uh, backing up uh, the lineup, but ladies and gentlemen, when Walker was on his game, the games were uh, were tremendous. The, you would always see Walker doing something, whether it was a big run. There was one game he had uh, two or three long touchdowns. Uh, you know the big slant, uh, the big power back style he would add. It was quite uh, it's quite amazing how it went on. But ladies and gentlemen, when he was traded in Minnesota, it was a big sensation for a while, but it, when it didn't work out, uh, the fans turned against him. Eventually led him to be signed by the Eagles, and eventually later on to the Giants, and then uh, Dallas for the last part of his career. But all the years in the NFL, it led to him uh, being ranked as a ten, top 10 pro football running back of all time because of the combined numbers with the USFL in the NFL. But you look back at the trade, ladies and gentlemen, ended up being 16 players. You'll never see that again. A player of Herschel Walker's uh, capacity, uh, now you would see money in draft picks or players. You'll never see a, a trade like that again. Now, Herschel Walker may be controversial to many, but for me, I consider him a, a top three college player of all time and a, a top 20 NFL and USFL player of all time because when he played, you couldn't take your eyes off him. So whether you like him or not, Herschel Walker has been there for the for the, the fans of him. He always was doing something positive on the field, whether you liked him or not, but boys are boys, ladies and gentlemen. You'll never see a player like Herschel Walker ever again. Uh, media rise. The 1980s belong to him on a lot of levels. So thanks for listening and don't forget Dallas stirs the drink because we're still talking about him and he was traded over 30 years ago. Thanks for listening. Bye.